On Friday, November 26, the stock market had a big pullback related to the new COVID strain Omicron. We saw big boosts to COVID therapeutic related stocks such as Pfizer and also to Enzolytics per the Yahoo Financial Profile. Enzolytics ticker ENZC is a great stock to watch for more price bumps upon negative COVID type news. This current ENZC stock chart shows that unfortunately ENZC stock is back to its slide downward. Like most OTC stocks with little or no revenues, ENZC is getting hit hard due to looming interest rate increases. It's now a race for ENZC to release products and build revenues before funding for their operations gets more expensive. Stick around and I'll share the positive news regarding potential spikes in 2022 revenues for ENZC stock. And I'll also give you my opinion if the stock's a buy at this point. OTC stocks are highly volatile and risky. In the past, I worked for years with Fortune 500 CFOs and financial consulting teams to help companies determine where they were making money. Now I use this expertise to dig into analytics details. But this is not financial advice and for entertainment only. In looking back at 72 tickers, I day traded in 2018. If I had done the type of analysis I'm sharing with you today, I would have held on to more of these stocks. 77% of them would be big profits today. I spent just 37,000 on seven of these trades that would now be worth more than 441,000. The purpose of this series is to help uncover these stock gems that have better odds of making big profits. Hi, investing friends. This is Lynn and welcome back. So let's go and review today's hot stock. This OTC short report shows that ENZC's percentage of shorted volume is an average of 26% over a recent five-day period. So still quite high, putting downward pressure on the stock. Also, ENZC's security details reveal a large float of 2.1 billion shares, making it hard to move the stock upward. Enzolytics is one of my favorite OTC stocks with their approach to creating therapeutics to treat debilitating diseases, including HIV and COVID. What's really exciting is Enzolytics ENZC's improvement in their financial plus new development manufacturing agreement with Samsung. This agreement was made to speed up Enzolytics progress toward therapy production and approvals. Once this is all done, this should mean a good price spike in the stock. This is Lynn and welcome back. So let's go and dive into Enzolytics. But first, if you could give this video a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more videos like this one, it would be greatly appreciated. To help you understand all the exciting milestones that Enzolytics has planned over the next year, I grabbed this timeline screenshot off Godfather Capital's Twitter feed. I found this to be very helpful as there is a lot going on with this stock. Of course, there are no guarantees that Enzolytics will hit these milestones, but hang on for the details. Some exciting news for Enzolytics is the new revenue they are expecting for sales in 2022. Next year, they will begin selling their ITV-1 therapy in Africa. ITV-1 is a suspension of an activated pepsin fraction, IPF, which studies have shown are effective in treating HIV AIDS. Enzolytics will also be selling their IPF immune in the U.S., Enzoimmune active in other regions, and VET monoclonal antibody therapy in Q2 2022. If the revenues appear like they should, we could expect to see an effect on ENZ stock. What's really great for Enzolytics investors is per their latest financial statement that the revenues are increasing while their losses are also dropping. To understand the significance of this change to you as an investor after this video, you'll want to view my video on five signs a penny stock is worth millions, which I will link in the description below. Other great news is that earlier this month, Enzolytics COO Godre Chandra MD tweeted that ENZC's analysis of isolates of the Omicron variant confirmed that the conserved epitopes are also fully conserved in the Omicron variant, so effective against this Rona Rona virus variant as well. From this December 2nd article, you'll see here Enzolytics explains that it is now critical that monoclonal antibodies be produced that 
target the conserved epitopes on the coronavirus identified by the company using the AI analysis. These identified conserved sites are also confirmed as existing in each of the now known variants of concern and variants of interest. These conserved epitope sites on the coronavirus are claimed in the company's now pending patent application filed early in 2020. Using artificial intelligence, Angelytics has identified immutable conserved epitopes for numerous viruses and is focused on producing monoclonal antibodies targeting these sites. The company has fully analyzed over 87,000 HIV isolates using AI and over 2 million COVID-19 isolates to identify conserved epitopes. Antibodies are being produced targeting these conserved sites. The article also added that Enzolytics utilizes AI to assess the effects of genetic nutrition and the human microbiome on infectious diseases, mental health disorders, and chronic medical diseases. To understand the breadth of ENZC's research and therapies in process, ENZC builds predictive models for infectious diseases, mental health disorders, and chronic medical diseases, identifies biomarkers for infectious diseases, mental health disorders, and chronic medical diseases, while also identifying strategies for infectious diseases, mental health disorders, and chronic medical diseases. You're probably wondering when you will see more results from all this ENZC research. Currently, Enzolytics is using multiple processes to accelerate production of their monoclonal antibody therapy through leveraging accelerated technology systems, including Hippodoma technology, phage display, antigen-specific single B-cell sorting, and monoclonal antibody cloning platforms. Enzolytics can now produce the desired antibodies in a shorter time frame. What's really great for us as investors is that Enzolytics has a newly established strong working relationship with Samsung Biologics. Samsung provides end-to-end -end services to support Enzolytics from cell line development, clinical drug substance and drug product manufacturing services to supporting therapy filings. If you haven't heard about Enzolytics, next move yet, Enzolytics is now marketing Enzolytics IPF Immune Therapeutic. It's a liquid nutritional supplement immune modulator that fortifies the immune system against infections while supporting the body's antioxidant defense. This is a product that the U.S. needs with all the rona rona virus variants popping up. Enzolytics has initiated production and sales will begin in the North American market in the coming year. In addition, the company has entered into a long-term contract with a national distributor for sales, marketing, and a distribution of the product throughout North America. This should be another promising source of revenues for Enzolytics. One, the primary IPF ingredient modulates the immune system and may be used alone or as a complementary therapy for various diseases. This article shares a little more about the significance of the Samsung partnership in further the approvals and release of Enzolytics therapy. Enzolytic and Samsung Biologics are now working together on the development and manufacturing for anti-HIV and anti-SARS-CoV-2 monoclonal antibody therapy. Samsung will provide end-to-end -end CDMO services from cell line development, clinical drug substance, and drug product manufacturing services. They will also support the IND filings for anti-HIV and anti-SARS-CoV-2 monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of HIV and SARS-CoV-2. To further explain the relationship between the two companies, a CDMO or contract development and manufacturing company like Samsung Biologics is a company that provides drug development and manufacturing services. Pharmaceutical companies like Enzolytics partner with CDMOs as a way to outsource drug development and drug manufacturing. So this relationship is one that we definitely wanted to see happen. A stable cell line will be manufactured with support from Samsung Biologics R&D Center in San Francisco. While the related clinical trial 
materials will be manufactured at Samsung Biologics headquarters in South Korea. Enzolytics COO Dr. Gorev Chandra explained that this collaboration with Samsung Biologics is a significant milestone for Enzolytics. ENZC chose to partner with Samsung Biologics because of Samsung Biologics' extensive experience and expertise in developing, producing, and manufacturing monoclonal antibodies for infections, diseases, and oncology. Now to give you my opinion whether this stock is a buy, hold, or sell at this point if you're in ENZC for the long run. The Fed's planned interest rates historically causes many investors to pull out of growth stocks like ENZC for safer havens, especially for more solid stocks that don't need the stream of financing required by many OTCs, including Enzolytics. Stocks like Enzolytics that are borrowing to sustain operations are also going to have to pay a lot more for this money, making it harder for them to grow. As usual, I only have money in Enzolytics that I can afford to lose, but because I am a supporter of their therapeutics direction, I will continue to hold the stock. Only you can decide what this means to you, so do your own DD and let me know if you think I'm wrong or right. So please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about Enzolytics, and next, you want to view my video, Five Signs a Penny Stock is Worth Millions.